by rights, flamingos ought to be as white as snow. But they gorge themselves pink. They get the color in their lives from the mud of the lagoons. The rosy hue the flamingos put into their plumage comes from little pink brine shrimps. Creatures from a prehistoric age. They look as if they come from another world, a world that we usually only get to see in petrified form. These shrimps are living fossils. What we have here is really a throwback to an age eons back in history. 200 million years have done nothing to change them. Are these survival artists living violations of the rules of evolution? They're suddenly there when the water comes. And when the water disappears, they're nowhere to be seen. And next year, they're back again. And you ask yourself, how do they do it? Some kinds are rare, while others turn up in such numbers that they represent a major source of nutrition on a global scale. The eggs are harvested by the ton. So Artemia noblii are generated from these cysts or still unique in the uh, present day aquaculture production. And these shrimp larvae transform themselves into living pills. The embryos in the cysts can survive the toughest conditions. Temperatures of minus 200 degrees and immersion in boiling water are powerless to harm them. These cysts can stay viable for years, decades, perhaps even millennia. How to tell by direct inspection whether an embryo is dead? Uh, it's just as difficult. Uh, the fact is, one really doesn't know. Are these dormant eggs the key to this unique success story? The survival strategy of the primeval shrimps sounds like science fiction. Suspended animation. Coming back to life when it's worthwhile to do so. <laughs>